Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome to Blockscape. Now, Blockscape is a highly detailed building game, just like the ones that we tend to be quite used to, and I have to say, it looks absolutely beautiful. So today I just thought I would take you around the game, show off some of its interesting features, and give you a little bit of a feeling of what this has got to come. Now you can see the environment around us, we've got that great lake over there, and all these environments are generated at random, so your world's not going to look like your friends, but just look at the detail. Wow, every everything's just so beautiful, the grass looks perfect when you're walking, just look at that, it's something that also almost looks like a movie. And I mean, it's not, it just doesn't have a single patch on some of the other games like Minecraft that are just a lot more grittier and dirtier. But I understand that some people like that sort of two-bit sort of effect of all the little pixels. But for me, it's all about highly detailed looking environments and it's absolutely beautiful. Anyway, enough of the beauty, let's actually have a look at some of the building and construction. So we can head through here, we've got a castle that's already been pre-constructed and it's been abandoned, you can see all we've got all this beautiful sort of moss greenery growing up around it and these are just scattered around the environment so if we go through here and look out the window we can see that there's a few more scattered across there, one on the lake, one there and these environments are just generated at random and they just look absolutely spotless. Another interesting thing about this game, it's been all developed by one developer so he's truly sort of visualising his idea his sort of design. Anyway, let's move on to a little bit of a project that I've been messing with. So I would like to welcome you to my little project. Now this is my small log cabin that's located in the forest here. You can see that the sun's coming up around it and it's soon going to be daytime. Something basically I can call home. So what I thought I'd do is just finish off a little bit of construction on it with you as well as show you some of the controls and some of the cube options. So if we access our E menu, what we can basically do here is we have a selection of different materials, we have these tabs as well that can take us on to building people, different sorts of interior sort of objects, and finally we have some more detailed things. Now something that I've noticed that tends to be missing from games like this is vehicles. I mean being able to get into something and actually drive it, fly it, or use it is just such a big reward that Space Engineer tends to have. Anyway, let's continue on. So the first thing I'm going to do here is show you the sculpting option. So as you can see on the roof here, I've managed to place this snow on the top, made it look absolutely beautiful in my opinion. Just to have the ability to place things like this without it actually conforming to a block is just really nice. So we're going to drag our sculpt option. And on this tab here, we have different sorts of materials. We have man-made materials here. And on this tab, we have different sorts of natural. So we've got snow. And what we're going to do is do some sculpting with that snow. So with the mouse wheel, we can change the size of our brush. And we're just going to add a little bit of snow onto the end of the house here like that. And if we've added a bit too much or it's too sharp, we can smooth it down and put it into position. Just a really nice feature. And you can really make your house either look like it's got snow on, got grass on, it's got bark growing up the side. Or maybe it's even mossy like that castle at the start. Anyway, let's fit some windows to this house because that's what I think it really needs. So let's grab our cube block. And now once again, with our cube block, by selecting that, we can actually mouse wheel and select different areas. And we're going to cut up a nice window sort of window ledge here. So it's probably going to be about that level. And that looks about good. So let's enlarge the brush and probably just cut that there and that there. Now it's probably not going to be even. So we've got quite a large window going on there. And we'll probably put a circular looking window up at the top as well. And now we need to fit some glass. So we're going to go to the glass there. Select class, drag that down, and use our U key to select it. Once again, we're going to go to our blocks, select wall. So this is going to give us like a thin sort of wall when we select it. So select one. And we can actually place this in a cross with glass selected, and it'll connect itself up. Just It's just really fun building with this sort of high level of detail, as well as a, a such a selection of different blocks. But that doesn't look right. We're going to need to probably change the actual outside of that as well. We'll go with some slope blocks. So let's pick a slope and let's pick a nice oaky sort of pine wood. That's an oaky pine wood sort of effect. And let's place some here, shall we? A bit of an extension coming out from the window, give it a bit of a window ledge. And that could look just really nice. We've got some snow blocking it there. We'll have to take that off and cut that back away with the opposite mouse button. We can just place that across and we can build ourselves a nice little window ledge upon there. We've got some doors and windows to add as well. So the log cabin has been changed a little bit. We've added some more windows in. We've got a circular window up here. We also have now a door so we can actually go inside. 
But we do have some problems inside. The snow seems to be leaking within to my roof, so that's something I'm going to have to repair. And we've also got a few things that need patching up, i.e. holes in the roof. But this game itself is absolutely beautiful. The challenge of building and just playing in an environment that looks like this, it just really kicks it up a notch. And for players that me, like me, that don't really like to be looking at low detailed sort of texture environments while you're building, you want to build something really detailed, this is probably the game for you. And it's still in early stages at the moment, but whatever this is going to end up like, it's going to really make a difference. And it's going to be something that I'm going to really enjoy playing. One thing that I have noticed though, is that when you stop playing Space Engineers, you realise that other games that have similar sort of building perspectives don't have that sort of build a vehicle, get in it, destroy, or maybe I'm just a bit of a violent gamer, but that really attracts me to these sort of games. I mean, imagine a vehicle in this, imagine building yourself some sort of snow crawler. Now that would be absolutely amazing. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>